The first wave of WADA's population reports is finally here, but what if you only collect CIB games like a normal human being? You should take this opportunity to learn. But Christian, these are lying, manipulative, money laundering criminals. How could I possibly learn anything from them? Even if this guy is some kind of horrible tyrant trying to conquer the market and own the hobby, which by the way, I really don't think he is, you can still look at these population reports and learn a whole heck of a lot. First of all, what exactly is a population report? It's basically an Excel sheet that shows the quantity of games that have been graded. It gives transparency to the general public on how many sealed copies of a game have ever left WADA's doors with a grade on them and helps collectors find out just how scarce a specific graded item is. WADA is starting with specifically NES sealed games at the moment, with good reason, but they're planning to expand to other consoles in the near future. So what is there to be learned from a bunch of numbers? The first thing you can learn about is variance, quite possibly the most important term in the English dictionary. If you haven't been collecting video games since 2004, you've probably never even known about the Rev A round seal of quality football on the left original roster without the trademark symbol. That's important information. Look at this. Click on a plus icon right next to a game's title to see what variants have come through WADA's doors. Right here, free to the public, is some pretty organized variant information ripe for the taking. It won't get much easier than that. Now with that being said, these are not all of the NES variants out there. Far from it, actually. WADA doesn't have any games listed as zero out there, meaning they don't have the super rare Mega Man 6 variant even mentioned on this list because no one has ever sent in a sealed one. Regardless, this is an excellent starting point. What else can you learn? Honestly, it's just interesting to go and take a look at all of the numbers and see what's out there and what's not. There are five sealed copies of Captain America and the Avengers on here. Now I take myself over to eBay and check how many are currently listed and how many have sold in the last three months. This doesn't tell you that a game is super rare or impossible to find necessarily, but it does get your mind thinking about it. And every time you see a sealed Captain America and the Avengers from here on out, your mind will be thinking about it. Maybe that's not fun for everyone, but I certainly find it interesting. Now, I do think the quantities of these games need to be taken with a grain of salt at first. Now that these pop reports are starting to roll out, a lot of the games that have less than five graded copies will increase drastically by investors trying to eat up the hype of a small population. But when WADA finally catches up with their insane backlog, this information could become very useful for us as collectors. It's gonna take some time, but in the next few years, we'll see CIB games added, games for lots of different consoles added, and WADA even wants to make their pop reports dynamic, meaning they will update automatically anytime a new game comes in. But the most important thing that WADA says is coming is the more robust variant information. They go on to say they're building the resources to fully understand and interpret the complex nature of video game variants, even to the most granular level. That's something to be excited about. Dennis Khan, despite what the media has made him out to be, is a very knowledgeable human being when it comes to variants of video games, and I have no doubt that whatever they're cooking up is going to be super useful for both investors and collectors. What do you think about water releasing population reports? Listen, I saw the Carl Jobs video just like everyone else on the planet, and you have got to do a little more research before you just get on Reddit and start bashing every single graded games post that you see. And this is coming from someone who doesn't have any graded games. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Bird Dog Gaming.